I want to help everyone make sure that they understand how we look at survival curves. This looks really stressful, <laughs> I assume. Um, as a, as a non-medical person, I can imagine looking at these blue and red lines is very confusing and very stressful. And I'm trying to break it down because your doctors are gonna to talk to you about this and you might look at papers on, um, on websites or you might look at uh, meeting information. And I want you to be able to have some confidence as you try to work through what we call survival curves. And they're essentially ways that we as doctors, as scientists, as researchers, think about how effective a treatment is. We usually, just to start, have two treatments. In this case, in this survival curve, we've got treatment A, and we've got treatment B. And we represent each treatment with a color. In this particular diagram, we've got blue for treatment A, we've got red for treatment B. And we try to compare these treatments and see which one is going to be the most effective in taking care of our person, whether it's a person who's being treated for bladder cancer or breast cancer, prostate cancer or lung cancer, we can compare the effectiveness of these treatments using these curves. And these curves are the data or the output that we get from clinical trials. So the first step is knowing there are two treatments. One is in blue in this diagram, it's labeled treatment A, and one is in red, treatment B. The second thing to know is that time, the time on this clinical trial is gonna go from left to right and it's represented on the bottom axis, that zero to 1000, that's in days. And you can see here, I, I made a little extra arrow here, time, going from the beginning of the trial on the left to the end of the trial on the right. Now, the next thing to know as we're looking at this is the number of people or the percent of people who are alive in this particular clinical trial are gonna be represented on that up and down vertical axis on the left. And this shows that the higher the curve is, the higher the curve is, the more people are alive over time. So if we look at the very beginning, the upper right corner, or sorry, the upper left corner, so even I get confused, the upper left corner, where we see the blue and the red line are overlapping, 100% of people are alive, and that's time zero. That's when everyone's starting on this clinical trial. Everybody's alive. And over time, as we move to the right, people are passing away and other people are surviving. And that the lines both move down because the percentage of people is moving down. So if we go on to the final thing, the space between these curves is what's gonna tell us that there's a difference between treatment A and treatment B. If there's no difference, they're on top of each other. If there's a difference, they separate. And that shows us that one of these treatments is better than the other. Treatment A is better than treatment B here. Treatment A is further, it's higher up. And so that blue line is better. Treatments are gonna be better if they're higher up on that graph. So treatment A is better. So I will show you a couple curves in the following conversation, but I just wanted you to know this because your doctors will talk about improvements in survival, better survival. If you Google it, and if you look at papers, you're gonna look at pictures like this and just know that the thing that's on the top, regardless of the color, whatever it is, that's better. The thing that's on the bottom is a thing that's not doing as well. 